Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Kiko Ishikawa, professor of Chuyu University. I'm going to talk about uh, development of community-based town planning through gendered innovation. Uh, the technology we are discussing in this session, uh, my topic is technology of town planning or city and regional planning. It's a kind of basic field uh, for sustainability of the earth. So uh, gender, I'm going to uh, analyze the process of half and four years experiences of, uh, after uh, East Japan earthquake. Uh, it was occurred in March uh, 2011. Um, the community-based reconstruction means the process of social, not physical, and not only physical, and social, environmental, and the cultural reconstruction for a community carried by disaster survivors with the support by municipality and others. The, maybe everybody remember <laughs> four and a half years ago we have huge tsunami. Uh, this area is this is Pacific Ocean, and northern part of Japan attacked. Uh, this is Sendai Airport, and the tsunami took over and destroyed many, many places. This is um, Fukushima. We have a nuclear program, and all over, all the way down to Tokyo, many cities and villages destroyed. The area, it's a uh, geography very different, Rias coastal area and alluvial flats. In Rias coastal area, the solution is a rather easy to go to upper area, but in alluvial flats, this is Rias area. We have to find the place to survive a high, on higher area, but in alluvial flats area, there is no place to escape. So we didn't have any experience for those area, how to make, how to reconstruct uh, the safe place to live. And we have basically uh, two, two basic uh, trend. One is decreasing population, and it's, I mean, it's increasing after tsunami, and also increasing elderly population. It's just common phenomenon. So we have to think about, to, 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 we have to struggle with to, to, to these uh, big issues. So today, I'm going to explain about the, uh, the reconstruction process of alluvial plants area. The name of city is Iwanuma City, Miyang Prefecture. As I show the photograph uh, here, it's very flat. The height of tsunami is below eight meter very different from Rias area, that's 10 meter or 20 meter high. But here, it's, it's co covered all over uh, rice field. And we don't know, the, uh, at that time, we don't know how to solve this problem. So uh, this is the map of uh, this town. Uh, the small villages, six villages here, it's all over Fukushima, we have very similar uh, type of uh, land use, and the people decided to move a little bit behind uh, this area. So the hypothesis is uh, we have to create social overhead capital as a basic of our um, economy or safe living, and I analyze environmental, social, and cultural resilience and to clarify the community Based on my experience, the stage of reconstruction divided into four stages. Uh, I'm going to quickly show uh, four stages difference and what kind of gendered innovation introduced. The first stage is a kind of grand design. Whenever a huge disaster occurred, we have to set up a kind of goal for and purpose, what we have to do. And we set up seven goals, and in here, 
uh, eco-representatives -repre uh, selected, and also everybody, I mean, gave up, but small agriculture uh, started at that point. And in this first, first stage, science has very, very important role since we have to find where is the appropriate place to live. So we carried out extensive survey and to establish a kind of principles of land use. This, so it's important to, to, to tell, tell here, science is very important when uh, uh, extremely disaster occurred. And this is a, a kind of female's activity. We think we have to think about something, and I, we found the tomato, salted area, it's surviving. So we planted tomatoes, so this is the first step, a uh, small step, but very big step for the revitalizing agriculture. The second stage, since at that time government didn't give any, I mean, proper policy, we have to, many community has to wait for one year, nothing to do. So in this community, we started to carry out a kind of workshop, even though there is no policy, no law, no money, there is a freedom to think about what kind of community we have to build. So we uh, carried out university run this free workshop. So everybody invited, and it's really amazing, many, I mean, female came and give beautiful presentation. It's really amazing. So we have this process. So I didn't tell you there are about more than 300 projects after great uh, tsunami, but the the case study, which I'm going to explain, is almost only one project finished within four years. Other project is still working, and uh, I would say 200, 3,000 people still living in temporary house. Very slow. I'm very much hesitant to say. So everybody asks why? It became possible, I mean, to, to, uh, to implement town planning here within four years. So, I, I mean, there's many reasons, but I would like to tell that this kind of gender innovation, many females joined new field of town planning since they lost everything. They have to think. They have to think for children and family and elder people. So that's the big difference. And we, we opened up a kind of platform for female. And the third one is government finally set up law. And based on this law, we can have a kind of tax. And we can build town uh, ourselves. So this is formal. Uh, the, committee run by uh, uh, representatives. And you can say this is the formal, and but this, this is informal. So it's a temporary house, and we have a free discussion. So dual system, you know, formal, it's only representative. And informal, everybody. So those dual process is uh, make give a kind of confidence, a consensus for many uh, people. At the same time, we made a community house. It's a very traditional house, and uh, you know, this is mud. The wall is made by mud, and I put in the metal wall. And since there's no place, but if we build those community house, children and uh, people can meet together. So we can have a kind of basic uh, place to talk and enjoy and exchange information. So it's very important. So, uh, sorry, I will just skip by this multi-defense system. Uh, stage four, uh, finishing those 
because consensus building is most important. The reason why other community didn't start yet is they, it's, it's impossible. They're just struggling each other and no consensus building could make yet. So in here, the consensus building is uh, uh, using those uh, three stages. Uh, we worked slowly, slowly, but somehow we reached. And in this case, we, uh, the community, this is all the community, six community has uh, uh, it's a kind of a cluster. And in the middle, we have so-called commons. And uh, about 80%, uh, I'm sorry, 50% people uh, moved. Even though our case is earliest, but people left because they can't wait. So it's uh, the speed is very important for the sustainability of the community. So right now we are creating commons. It's, it's important, we, we have to have a kind of activity how to create community. So to build independent and houses, it's, 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 uh, it's uh, okay for each family. But community, how to create new community, that's the very, very big issue. So for that purpose, I think we really need gender innovation. Without gender innovation, it's in, we can build house, new house, but it's impossible to build a uh, community. So we are doing many, many activities, festival, and uh, the small agriculture. It's the, in Japan, in order to work the competitive uh, or agriculture. The agriculture is divided into two different ways. One is big agriculture and one is small. So in our case we have two different trend but small agriculture is getting very very popular. So it's a kind of conclusion. Uh, in each stage uh, gender innovation we have and we have to, in order to think about uh, the crisis, I mean, overcome, we have to think about time. And each stage, we need different innovation. It's a, sorry, it's a kind of a, a diagram. Uh, we have to think about regional scale and local scale, the community scale and each area, uh, uh, each scale, the uh, innovation, gender innovation is very different. And uh, today I uh, mostly focus on this community uh, uh, development, but uh, for this uh, uh, regional scale is, uh, we need, uh, different uh, innovation, it's uh, still a big thing. And conclusion, my conclusion is town planning is the basic technology which the gendered innovation should be considered. And as I told you, there are different role, but it is necessary to develop a new methodology, um, technology for the sustainability of community and region, focusing gendered balanced society. Thank you very much.